Okay, so I have a negative thing to say about you, Jeremy. About me? I oh, you want to talk about control? Yeah, let's talk about okay, control. Okay, okay. So I put up. You a, got a little excited out there. Man. I got a little excited, <laughs> but you know me, hyper. I, I, I'm Mr. Hyperbole. I'll say something is the best ever, something is the biggest ever. No matter what, I go all the way or the worst ever. And so I tweeted. And then, and then Hank quoted you, put his little eyes on eyes it emoji, too. Yeah. I was like, we got a lot of replies. A lot of people agreed. A lot of people were saying no and then didn't have a verse. And then of course hit him up. I do not want to put disrespect on hit em ups in Let me read this. Uh, you can read this. Let me read this X by Jeremy Hex. First X in a long time, by the way. Kendrick's control is the most impactful verse in hip hop history. <laughs> you want to expound on that, King? Yes. So let me let me uh, explain my thought process. I feel like when you say King, it's not often said with his chase. <laughs> with respect and no, reverence. No. He, I don't think I don't he's imagining a crown and when he says it. King. He's, he's not he's not put like that Kendrick picture about control where he's got the crown on his don't head. Be You're king not my brother without no respect or reverence. <laughs> somebody king. did somebody did comment there like the way that DJ Head says king every time he talks <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't uh, always be respect and reverence. Not but, a lot of times. But sir, let me let me expand quickly. Go ahead. So Sir Hex. So this wasn't out of nowhere. First of all, let's talk about how this was you, you were posting a lot about it. It was the yeah, anniversary. I was excited to find out it was the anniversary. I didn't know. I, I, I learned years. in real time. Okay. Now uh, let me just get a couple things straight. Can we agree that we just witnessed the well, biggest... Let's give, let's give some context, though, because I don't think everybody understands Control. Okay, so for those There's of a young you... young audience. So, so Control, this is uh, 11 years ago. Kendrick is on a song... It's Big Sean's record. ...with Big Sean and Jay Electronica, okay? And Big Sean, you know, was rapping his ass off, and Jay Electronica is doing, like, real mysterious stuff. Me. And, and it wasn't a <laughs> Damn, bad verse. He closed it, it out with a bad verse. You just haven't heard it. I don't think you've actually heard it. Electronica was mid? After. Uh, you just hate Jay Electronica. I don't hate Jay Electronica. I just okay, don't you like just his don't raps. Like him. Okay. So you like Sean's verse though on this? Yeah. Sean like rap first, Kendrick, and then Jay Electronica. So okay. you feel like he closed it out with some midness at the end. Midness, just, midness in the business at the end. I just think it hasn't been heard. I think I always say DJs could drop it now. You, you could drop it on your show and it's a brand new record premiering the Jay Electronica. I won't be verse. playing it. I know you wouldn't do that, but we'll, we'll, we could give it to other DJs. Okay. So Kendrick comes in on the second verse and basically states... He, he puts his, his foot in the sand and says, I'm the guy. Here are my peers, but I want to out-rap them. I'm better than it. them. Jermaine Cole, Big Crit, Wale, Pusha T, B, B, A$AP Rocky Drake, Big Sean, Dre Electron, Tyler Mac Miller. I got love for all y'all, but I'm trying to burn you niggas. Trying to make sure your core fans never heard of you niggas. For everyone who's listening in audio, that was Elliot who read that. If you're just listening. That wasn't you, you saying anywhere? No, that wasn't sure. me. Uh, so he basically said he's the best. And he's bringing Big competition. Me. Big me it's back Big in the me, day. Big but me. he listed a bunch of other people. And I also don't think he was wrong with who he named here to help run the next 10 years. You know, you could argue for Jay Electronica not dropping. But besides that, like, you know, the big three is in there. Tyler elevated from there. Big Sean elevated from there. Mac Miller yeah, elevated from 2011, there. This is 2011, right? 20, 2013. 2013. 2013. 2013. So. Is that like the, the prime selected the blog era right there? Yeah, Basically. absolutely. Besides, yeah. Yeah. They shut down the blog. Mm -hmm. This was a big moment. Even Pusha T uh, had had a run after that as a solo. Artist. I would include, so what do you what, I would do you, what do you recall of the impact of the record DJ had? What control at the time for us or just in general? Yeah, because I, I went. You were still living in the. I was in the East Coast. He was in the West Coast, obviously. Well, for us, it was just like, hey, he said what he said. <laughs> like, what you mean? Like, <laughs> he said what he said. But did you sense right away that there may be some upset, upsetting uh, going around in New York a little? Some... I think that it, he ruffled feathers, but I think it was more. I don't. T okay, this is my honest thought. I don't think that people are offended when they hear records about with their names on it. I think that they get offended when they see other people reacting to it. Well, yeah, a lot of people jumped in and did answer records that weren't dissed on the record. Yeah, in New York. yeah. King, Fab was King like, "Where's Lowe's the studio?" In, like... Fab's like, "Where's the studio?" It's like Fab. He wasn't. Dissed I think Fab that you. I think just like in in altercations in real life, you allow people to pump you up to feel a certain way that you might have not have authentically felt. Like, I don't think that, like, even Big Sean, I believe that he was like, whoa, that was crazy, but it was his record. He put the record out. Like, you yeah. know, it didn't, it, didn't, it didn't obviously make it on the album, Yeah. but he put the record out. He brought it to the DJ. So, so it's like, here, here's the record. Like, you know what I'm saying? So didn't I make don't the think album, that but... he personally took it like that. I think he's like, oh, yeah, we rapping. Like, he took it in sport. That's my belief, and I talked to Sean about it. I think that's what, you know, yeah. that's where he was coming from. Everybody else is like, oh, it's sport. It's on. Let, let's let's get to it then. Well, except for one person except for in one particular. Person. And that's what who, I was. Well, you tucked a sensitive rapper back in his 
pajama clothes. Uh, on the BET cipher. So that's so basically what I was saying with this high impact five. thing. Oh, they're gosh. gonna be okay. That high five. I wasn't, I, I was only I was only high fiving because I I like. DJ Head and we were just nah, high fiving. I was nah, not high fiving. He's from Toronto, I man. I wasn't high fiving the them? demise of Drake. No, or I wasn't. Okay. I wasn't oh, high fiving. Okay. Jokes okay. on you. Ha ha. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Bullet. <laughs> I know. So DJ Head, did you enjoy that cipher? I can't tell. Did you enjoy that cipher? <laughs> that was fire. I, you know what I asked? <laughs> that was when we were on the red carpet. Was I asked you what the best BET cipher is, and we talked about that. And yeah, that was a fire ass cipher. It, I like that one in the high Rihanna moment. Mm, Shout out to Slaughterhouse. So okay. <laughs> But the reason I said that this was yes. the most impactful verse, and we could say one of, I mean, you know, put no, it one, say, put no, it two. Stand on it, man. But here's the reason. Okay? Stand, on, stand on that tweet. And you're a part of this, Elliot. So okay. the one person that took control Why overly, is everybody like pointing at me to step back? Overly, <laughs> <laughs> point them out. Point them out. Just all you got to do is lean back and just rock. I'm right here. No, do the rock away. There's free chairs. We're right. I know how far away I can rock away from yeah, you. Yeah, do the rock away. We're all right away. It's because you're rocking away. It's going to be great for our audio listeners on Spotify. Pull up your pants and do the rock away. You from New York? Okay, I, I was no more pointing. Right. Uh, I can't guarantee that. I talk with my hands. <laughs> okay, shout so, out to Kevin Gates. Yeah, they they were they were getting at you in the chat about that Kevin Gates uh, interview. Yeah, well, no. We can come back to Whatever. that. But shout, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Kevin Gates. Okay, so Elliot does an interview with Drake, and this is what a few days after Control. Oh, uh, maybe about a week. Like after. a week after. Yep. Okay, and. And On the release night of it was the day before release night of nothing was the same. Oh, that's yes. the we know Drake. Yes. Yeah. So we know. No, yeah, nothing was the same. Is about to drop. Elliot does a crown. A we have, live we interview. Both, both have no facial hair. It's no very facial scary. hair. <laughs> and beards weren't in yet, guys. Sorry, we're, <laughs> we're completely both faceless. cheesing, fam. Cheesing, fam. And there was nervous energy, like you've said, in the crowd. I never get nervous, Jeremy. Because, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm proud. not nervous. Yeah, 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 no. no. <laughs> But, I do get nervous. But the the crowd was basically, you know, someone yelled out control. At this point, it was hard to ignore because everyone was talking about control. Yeah, yeah. And there had been some replies on Twitter, you know, some like Mac Miller joked about it. Pusha T said, you know, understood. And it seemed like everyone else who had done interviews, like Wale did an interview, ASAP Rocky did an interview, and they said, it's competition. I get it. You know, I, I see what he's saying. And there's the whole J. Cole thing with Diddy, which caused a whole, that's, that's for another story. But Drake is the one person who publicly... When you're interviewing him, mm -hmm. did say something to the effect of, and we can insert it, but he said, Oh no, man. Fuck everybody, man. Shit. <laughs> well, I'm just like if you talk about <laughs> like someone yelled out Kendrick. It seems like nowadays people want to build Kendrick. Nobody yelled out Kendrick. You just heard that in your head. <laughs> no, earlier. When you go to sleep, you just hear somebody be like, Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> No, but here's what's funny about you and Kendrick Lamar. It's like people forget you had him on Take Care. You had him on Buried Alive. You talked about a meeting that you guys had where you kind of were schooling him on the game. And there's a great line about how he realized he's the same age as you and he, it made him rude and impatient. So it's almost like it's very foreshadowing. You know, he ended up making a great record, Good Kid, Mad City. Just the a connection. Phenomenal you, album, by phenomenal the way. Album. Phenomenal album. Yeah, round of applause. And then now he takes a competitive stance with a verse like Control. And then you, was, you said that, you know, he's not murdering you in any platform. But, you know, that's, that's where that rivalry, that's where people want to try to build. <laughs> that's if you want to try to build a rivalry. Like, what's your, what's your take on that? Do you feel like that they're trying to, they're trying to create a competition that, that he's not on your level because of your accomplishments? Like, do you feel like they're trying to hype this up and elevate it too much? Nah, I, I feel like that, that's, that's it. It's like, you know, he's in... He's the new guy to love, and of course, I mean, rightfully so. He's super talented, you know. But thank you. But he's he's <laughs> but he's like you know he is the underdog that's extremely hungry. You know what I'm saying? Um, and and he's doing his thing really well. Um, and that verse was he's giving people like moments, you know, like that that verse was a, a moment to talk about. Um, are you listening to it now? At this point in time, uh, okay, and then, <laughs> but it was it was real cool for like you know a couple of weeks, but like if I asked you for example like how does that verse start? No, uh. <laughs> no, <do> you remember? <laughs> who's talk? It was a moment. It was a moment. But who's talking about it now? Do you remember the start of the verse? Right? Mm -hmm. and and I so, couldn't. I couldn't recall the start. And of the you verse. couldn't recall the start of the verse. 
all I was saying miscellaneous was, minds or mm-hmm. something like that. But like, I, and yeah. I think the actual verse starts with after that is you know tell Flex to drop Obama. Yeah, that's right? how people that's mostly get a record. Yeah. But what I, my point being is, if we all sat up here first episode and said that this was the biggest mainstream rap battle of all time, right? The most yep. impact, not necessarily. You know, we we go big and Pac didn't have social media. Hip hop wasn't the Let's number say one. Greatest genre. battle, greatest battle. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this control verse ultimately led to. In my opinion, because of your interview and what Drake said, and then the back and forth in the cipher, the biggest rap battle in the history of the genre, and that verse sparked it, and we still are talking about its impact. Even in Euphoria, Kendrick references, you don't want to work with me no more, okay? That's talking about this, because they never worked together after Control. The impact is clear. There's a direct line from this record to not like us, Kendrick Lamar. That's all I'm saying. Number three record in the country right now. Yes. It's a direct line. Not discrediting. If you say hit him up is more impactful, I'm not not mad at that at all. There was real legends that we lost from that verse. But nobody could name me another verse besides those two two verses that had more impact. And I'm open to hearing. Put 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 the X back up. Okay. The Jeremy Hecht X. Because we can't call it Twitter tweets anymore. Shall Elon? Nah, Elon changed it. <laughs> it says Kendrick's control is the most impactful verse in hip hop history. Jeremy Hecht, you yes. know I fuck with you. I know you do. I, I know it's respect. I fuck with you, bro. Yeah. But you just took five, six minutes of my life to say a whole bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Why was that bullshit? What what did you do? You just explained, you said a whole lot of words and didn't explain nothing. How did Misc- I not miscellaneous explain? Mind? I said, miscellaneous I said, mind? That verse <laughs> led to... No, it didn't lead to... Yes, it did. Without, okay. Ke- without okay. control, we don't have that. Okay. So are you saying that nothing before the control verse existed in the ethos between none of those rappers? I'm saying Drake and Kendrick's relationship completely shattered after control. And whether or not there was something on Kendrick's side, I don't know because he did know about the ghostwriting stuff. Who knows? But that verse directly shattered their relationship, and Drake's reply helped. What was Drake's reply? Saying, uh, yeah, it was a cool moment, but I'm trying to make timeless music. This, you know, nobody's He only considers Kanye as competition at that time, he said. So you think that that's indicative of what happened now? Yes. That's why I know. Because what led, so after that, right after that, there's your eye emojis, right after that was a BT <laughs> cipher. The BT T cipher where Kendrick said, I tucked a sensitive rapper back in his pajama clothes, talking about Drake being too sensitive about the control verse. Oh, you high five it again. High five again. They high only five did it once. On you. Okay. They only did it once. Then, Drake, well, Scooby Q only did it once, brother. Yeah, well, it was only once. Quincy only did it once, man. But on Nothing Was the Same, Drake replies, and then from there we see subliminals for the next. 10 years. How is that not from the control verse? So you're saying that this is the most impactful verse in hip-hop. See, that's the part that's tough. verse, yes. not that the verse was the greatest bars of all time or the, the most best impactful. Verse. Impactful. Because if you want to give the biggest rap battle in history as a direct correlation here's, but here's, from this verse, here's, But here's why you're wrong. You guys have five. There's multiple ways why he's wrong. You, you go five, for one, I go you high, one. You have five twice because in Head's mind, that, that uh, tuck him in the pajamas mm-hmm. moment is the memorable moment more than even anything he said on this verse here? But that doesn't happen without control. I, no, but that doesn't make that doesn't make that the most impactful verse. I, that negates it because you could you could correlate another moment that represents that even more. It like engulfs it even quicker, like a, a tweet version of it. A rapper with that a ghostwriter is is more impactful than and that, that doesn't stuff. happen with no. It's the control. origin. It's the origin yeah, story. You the, are right. I'm saying it's the seed. This is the seed. You could, no, but, you could no, but you're not saying this is the most impactful moment in the Drake Kendrick battle or the most. Uh, impact. You said in hip hop. You say hip hop is the story. And history. here's the thing: the other problem is this: is that let's let's. Tra- How Drake, about the first goddamn verse ever other, written? Most impactful verse in hip hop history. Here's my hot take, Jeremy. Okay, okay. <laughs> On that stage in 2013, Drake yeah. was right. Drake was right. We weren't going back and pumping that record. We didn't have to hear that record 75 times to realize what that record did yeah. and how it got every fucking rapper. Out of their fucking mind, guys that didn't weren't even mention his head earlier, yeah, yeah. writing verses, kicking back at Kendrick. Like, how dare this guy declare he's the new king in some type of sense? Like, so in the moment, it was hugely impactful. But then it led to other moments that just continued the further thing. But Agreed. nobody goes back and plays that record. There's no demand of, oh my God, we got we gotta finally get this record on the DSPs. Like, no one listens to that record. We just know what happened, and we only really center on the verse we put up where we talks about his peers. Because as you said, head said, when you mention names. It's a big deal. So nobody remembers it like that as a verse for se. They just remember that Kendrick put his flag down. And in the modern day version, he did that with like me and it set off this thing. So yeah, I don't think it's, it's far from the most impactful verse per se. 
it's an impactful moment. moment. Okay. It's definitely it's definitely the origin of the whole thing too, which doesn't get the credit it deserves. I agree with you. They never were cool again after that moment. Solidified by pajama pants after that, and you know, but the verse itself, no, I don't think head heads the man is like I gotta play that record. Let me play the control verse. We were we just know if you was around in 2013 and in hip hop. You know how impactful that was. It's probably the most one of the most impactful moments, moments. in hip hop. But I, I don't think it's the impactful. You, verse you like took a few minutes. I'm gonna take a couple of minutes. I got I got a couple of questions for you. You a, a hip hop journalist? Okay. Okay. So which one? Talking about Jeremy? He, yeah, I'm talking to Jeremy. <laughs> I'm talking to this is Jeremy's. This is Jeremy's ISO right now. Okay. <laughs> so no, the ISO is when you're speaking. You're taking I understand that, but it's his ISO. You setting him up for his ISO? Yes. You're right. lobbing. Certified cover boy. Yes. He called okay. to play for him. <laughs> trying to play up in the sand more. Okay. So Drake's Drake looked up to who as a rapper? Kanye. Okay. And Kanye looked up to who? Jay. Okay. So Jay Z was signed to what label? Rockefeller. Okay. And because because he couldn't get signed to any other record yes. label, right? Yeah. Okay. It's like a rap quiz. <laughs> okay. We're passing Set the so table. Far. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Okay. You're good. Okay. So is Jay Z the first rap superstar? The first, I, I, no. Who is? First rap superstar? Yeah. I was gonna say LL. It gotta be LL Cool J. Okay. Okay. So LL Cool J, first rap superstar globally. Yeah. Right? Can we agree on that? Mm -hmm. Will Smith, okay. first rapper to win a Grammy. Yeah. Right? Mm -mm. So. You have these two icons, right, yeah. who pioneered in their own right a whole everything. Will Smith beefed with Eminem. <laughs> okay? You're, you're saying that Kendrick... Plus, Eminem dissed him. You're saying fair. that Kendrick Lamar Duckworth yeah. <laughs> did a verse on a big sign record that, didn't, that wasn't on the album. Didn't even come out. Was the most impactful verse in hip-hop history. I did say that, yeah. Now, you having knowledge of the wide gamut of hip hop, you think that that, 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 that tweet, that X that you put up still holds water? I mean, I'm not backing down from it. I, I'm not I, saying you back, I'm just I, asking. I will say, okay, what I will say is, is there recency bias in that tweet based on my experience? 100%. I didn't, I didn't live through more impactful verses, Shit, I'm sure. Me either. I'm sure. But, and, and I did give Hit Him Up as a more impactful verse. I did, I did concede to that. Tupac looked up, I mean, uh, Kendrick looks up to Tupac. Tupac. Yeah. Tupac got more impactful verses than, than, than the control verse. So I guess what, what the... In the, hip hop history is the, is the part. Well, that's, but, the, that's the... <laughs> but all I'm saying is this battle impacted more people than anything else in hip hop in terms of just knowledge of the moment, people talking about it, yeah. mainstream attention, only because of the climate we live in and because of social media. Yeah. But because that is the biggest moment potentially in hip hop history where everyone was tuned in, in not in terms of like impact, but just in terms of like everyone tuned in to this moment, mm -hmm. that stemmed in my opinion from the control verse. That's why I'm making that argument. I'm not saying that that verse, you're right, there's verses that maybe we know more or that did more for hip hop at the time or created more superstars or won a Grammy. All I'm saying is if we look at this moment as a direct correlation from the seed that was planted with control, no seed has been planted that grew into a larger tree. Down yeah, and I, and I think when you say impact, it's gonna lean towards the beef records, right? I disagree. Like oh, go ahead, sorry. Okay. What's, what you mean to seed? Fool, do you understand that? <laughs> I thought he was a king. Now he's no, a fool. No, no, I, that's I, what, I went from king to fool. I'm from I LA. That's West how we, Coast, fool. That's how we talk. I'm from, you know, shout out to the fool community. But <laughs> um, I disagree because there's a man named Andre Young who was part of a group called NWA. Yeah. And then he was part of Death Row. And then he had Aftermath. And then they got 50 Cent. And then Eminem. And then 50 Cent. And then from there came. Kendrick, and I think Dr. Dre has the most impactful family tree in hip-hop history. Just give me a verse. I, all I'm asking for is verses. If you Straight guys out have of Compton. Them, tell me the verses Crazy and Crazy motherfucker open. named Ice Cube. You want to know that? a gang called no, Niggas no, no, With no, no, Attitude. No. The That's most an impactful, impactful verse. The most impactful verse. The most impactful yeah. verse or contender. Okay. You would say control. Which one would you say? I just gave you an Ice Cube. There's many. I'm just saying. I, said, I was saying that 
it would lend itself to favor the beef records, which would be a hit em up and stuff like that. But also, the, the, if you just judge rapping, you judge the dope opening line rap, bro. Like, the straight out of comedy, Praise Motherfucker Ice Cube. Allow me to reintroduce myself. First off, you, fuck your bitch. I got bitch. you stuck off the realness. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the beat. First beach, off, yes. fuck your bitch. You can't and the beat the, you you can't beat the diss ah, records. That's crazy. You can't beat the diss records. Ice tweeted that, yes. too. He said that. And I said that. I said hit em up is more impactful. You can't beat the diss records. So, so you have the diss record side, and then you have as the MC. The great opening verse, Prodigy was great at it. Jay's great at it. Those, those when you think impactful verses, that's where you tend your ear tends to go to and say those are impactful verses. So what's so okay? So you've hit him up. Uh, hell yeah. Okay, so that, I I literally said that after right after Actually, I said that. I'm gonna say I'm gonna honestly say not even hit him up. I'm gonna say most impactful verse, and I, this is biased for me, but it would have to be one, two, three into the four. Mm -hmm. Soup doggy yeah, dog and Doctor Dre. Door. That's one of yeah, the ones right, because that's the beginning. That's the intro, though. That's the intro yeah, because it's yeah. like kids. Everybody knows that. Like you have to be in. You have to. Now I get what you're saying. The lineage of control. Yeah. That doesn't. In, that's not indicative of the most impactful verse. That means that that verse gave a lineage of Can most. Can we just impactful say no moment. one loves the actual control record? Nobody likes the record. Yeah, no one, no one loves the song. actual record. The record is not a good record. No, the record is not a good record. It shouldn't have it's made just the a album. Rap song. But it's crazy that it's probably the most impactful. It's impactful. It was, it's in the conversation, and no one could take away the impact of what it was in real time and this what it carried to the This man said one, day. two, three into the four. <laughs> to the four. What you mean? Yeah. It's fucking Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg is the answer. Yeah, you tweeted that. You said oh, Lord. so, and you were you were referring to uh, the Olympics, right? Well, you were referring to being the I'm biggest probably, rapper I'm referring of all to, time. I'm referring to life. 